What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 14 laptop. The popularity of tablets and the shrinking of laptops into ultrabooks helped give rise to the convertible class of machine. Systems that could transform from the traditional laptop form factor into tablets or other modes to suit a user's needs. The downside of these machines is that they tended to be much more expensive than the standard laptop on store shelves. Lenovo believes that it can deliver an affordable convertible with the Flex 14, a dual mode system that's just as good at getting your work done as it is watching movies. Should you let this machine flex its muscles for your projects and your entertainment? Let's find out. The Lenovo Flex 14 that we reviewed was powered by a fourth generation Intel Core i5 4200U processor running at 1.6 GHz that could be boosted up to 2.6 GHz via turbo. It came with 8GB of RAM and was supplemented by Intel HD Graphics 4400. It also had a 128GB solid state drive and displayed content on a 14-inch LED backlit 10-point multi-touch capacitive display with a native resolution of 1366 by 768 The system also came with Bluetooth 4.0, two USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.0 port, Dolby Advanced Audio stereo speakers, and a 2-in-1 memory card reader. At first glance, the Flex looks quite nice. The plastic that covers the entire machine has a soft, rubbery feel, which doesn't look cheap at all, but it also doesn't collect fingerprints in the same manner that glossy laptops do. The inside plank has a brush metallic look, adding a sleek touch of class to the system. It also packs comfortable, soft, and somewhat quiet keys for the plank as well. Lenovo could have held back on this since it's a touch-enabled machine, but with the exception of including a backlit keyboard, the input is very good for a mid-range laptop. Now the Flex 14 also earns some of its name not only in the ability to shift from a laptop to a stand configuration, but also in the multi-touch capabilities for the system, which allows users comfortable with tablet and touchscreen functionality to interact with the computer just as easily as traditionalists would. Along with this flexibility comes a strikingly good battery with a slim light frame that ensures that you can easily get your work done. Now if you're banging away on the computer, stressing it with a significant system load, you'll probably burn through the battery within three hours. However, if you're doing light to moderate work, you can easily get up to a full day's worth of use out of the machine. We found that the system had plenty of ports for any possible accessories you might want to connect to the laptop as well. While we definitely would have liked more USB 3.0 ports instead of two of the older 2.0, we definitely liked having three ports available for any peripherals or add-ons. We also appreciated the ability to output content to a larger screen via the HDMI port. Furthermore, we liked just how loud the system could be. The Flex 20 pumped out a surprising amount of volume that could easily meet the needs of most users. Audiophiles might find that the sounds at high volumes may not be as crisp and clear as standalone speakers, but they're definitely strong enough to match up to other laptops in its class. All of this comes at a rather affordable price point. We have the second tier unit, which initially came in at around $1,000, but it could easily be picked up for hundreds less thanks to Lenovo's coupons on its website. There were some issues that cropped up as we used the Flex 14. For one thing, unlike some other convertibles that double as a tablet, the Flex isn't as light. You're not going to be hauling a ton of weight when it comes to carrying the system around, but you're not going to be holding it as lightly as you would with the Slate either. Another problem that came up was tied to the flexing of the system backwards 300 degrees to put it into stand mode. While it let us use the touchscreen and watch movies easily, you're placing the weight of the system on the keyboard plank. This is an issue that we have with Lenovo's Yoga systems as well, and while it doesn't ruin the machine, it does leave the possibility of damage to the keyboard open as an option. In some ways, we would have preferred the full 360 degree flat nature of the Yoga so the system could fully double as a tablet. Now while the system can handle HD movies and videos, along with virtually anything that the average user might want to run on the Flex 14 because of the Intel HD Graphics 4400, you shouldn't expect any hardcore gaming on this machine. The computer simply doesn't have the horsepower necessary to handle it. Our largest issue with the system had to come with the viewing angles of the Flex 14, which weren't great at all. Regardless of the horizontal or the vertical angle, there is contrast distortion, foggy images, and blurriness unless you look at the screen head on. Not the greatest for a system that's designed to be converted and adjusted by angle. The Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 14 is a system that packs a punch at an inexpensive price. 
Its performance can be on par with those of higher-end machines, and it also includes touchscreen functionality, a strong set of speakers, and remarkable battery life. Its largest flaw is in the graphical arena, because it simply doesn't have the horsepower needed for hardcore gaming, and its screen angles are very poor. However, if you're an average user that needs a non-gaming laptop at a reasonable price, the Flex 14 is a pretty good bet. For these reasons, we decided to give the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 14 laptop a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 14, be sure to check out techbargains.com slash Lenovo. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.